I don't have a lot to say. I think I've just been really lucky to this point. I've had a lot of big hands and it's been it's just come my way. I registered yesterday with 15 big blinds. And on the second hand of the day, uh, player limps in in the first position under the gun. And small blind limps in, I'm in the big blind and I have ace five. And I decide to check and not move all in because under the gun could be trapping. Uh, it comes ace, eight, nine. Uh, everyone checks uh, quickly. And the turn is uh, a two. And small blind bets about 30% pot. And I call 3200. And now the guy from under the gun makes it 8000. And the first guy, small blind folds. Now it's back to me. Not really sure about the spot. I, th I think we have the best hand a lot and we're very under repped. So I don't think we can fold yet. I call. This leaves me 19,000 on the river. And uh, the river is a blank and I check and he bets 15,000. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty critical decision in my tournament. Um, and I just decided to fold. And straight away it left me with 19,000. In so that was nine big blinds after two hands, but you know you you stay alive and you win one flip and here I am with four million like after twelve hours of play or something less than that I think eleven hours of play. So like, wh what is the kind of range you're putting him on in, uh, in that spot? I mean I'm not really I, I I don't really give him that many bluffs honestly like if if he has any bluffs he probably would have bet them on the flop we block him having a lot of his value hands which are like. Aces somehow, ace nine, ace eight, pocket eights, pocket nines, pocket twos, ace two. All of these hands are in a, like, when you have no information on a player, it's hard to judge them. Like I said, it's the second hand of the day. I have to assume this player is an amateur uh, from limping under the gun, but you never, you never know what he's going to show down here. I'm still not sure about my fold, but I'm here now, so I'm happy I made it.